The Grind's coldest night of the year fundraiser was taken online this year, and early thoughts were that the fundraiser would have to be downscaled in terms of a goal, as COVID continued to create challenges on every front. Matt Hutton, chair of the coldest night of the year committee, was confident that his team could press through. We had, we had a really great fundraising team. Uh, everyone was, was really adaptable and just kind of jumped in and um, decide what we need to do together each week. It was, it was changing kind of as we went, but we... I think everyone adapted really well and we worked really well together. So, Contacting former team captains and asking them for their support once again was a way to get the fundraiser moving in the right direction and everything just began to roll. Uh, I think it was mid-January we started to get really close to, to that $35,000 mark um, and then we hit it. So we kind of got together as a team and said, what do you think? We, sh we still have time left. Let's raise this goal. Um, so we, we raised it to about 50000 and then we just flew past that goal, um, and, and then we raised it again to, to 55, and, and it just kept going and going. So right now it's sitting at $85,000. $85,000 raised. That's going to give hope and provide a much-needed lift to an organization that helps so many. Staff and workers could not be more proud of the community and area they serve. And what I really find that is really beautiful is that the people of our community... Never have I seen such love. I mean, we call it the coldest night of the year, but really, I'm going to say to you, it's the warmest night of the year because the people of this community came out with warmth of love that has touched our hearts and has flooded us in a way that we cannot believe it. I cannot say thank you enough to the people of our community. It says that we're the heart of the valley. Well, the people of this community have a great heart, and they have shown it, and they have continued to support us. The community seeing that this was so needed and um, getting out there and doing their thing and, and supporting us by donating their time, um, their dollars, you know, their cents, whatever it is that they had in order for us to facilitate this has been incredible. What it's going to do is, is provide a kitchen that will produce our anywhere from 80 to 150 meals per day that we do serve to our clients. Um, and it's unbelievable. The Grind staff have been busy over the last few weeks, beginning to get settled in the new location at the former fire hall, slowly transforming it into a new home where every need will be met of those who need help. And instead of directing them next door or down the street, it will be your next door down the hall. Work is nearing completion, but other organizations have stepped up to help with the meals during the transition, but it's only a matter of time before they will be fully functioning and ready for the next chapter. The countdown has begun. Coldest night of the year is scheduled for February 26th, 2022. Save your toques. It's cold out there. Reporting for Kojiko News, I'm Trevor Riley.